is this free app going to replace Zoom? Right now, I'm on a Zoom website. And as you can see, we have different plans. You have the free plan that gives you unlimited group meetings for up to 40 minutes, okay? And the pro plan that gives you group meetings for up to 30 hours. Now, guys, we all know that Zoom is awesome, but if you use it casually, you probably don't want to pay the $200 because you don't use it on a regular basis. However, even if you actually use it on a regular basis, today I'm going to show you another app that is actually 100% free that you can use to actually replace Zoom. And it has unlimited recording if you want to record. It has unlimited conferencing so you can talk for as long as you want, you know, as long as you have a computer and good internet connection. So let's not take much time. Let's actually get right into it. What's up guys, my name is Sam Love Production Tips and Tools here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's navigate the live streaming world together. Today, I'm going to show you a software or a platform called Video Ninja that you can actually use to do some conferencing. This is a platform that I actually use to run my YouTube shows when I have guests. But I wanted to show another side of it. By the way, I've made a video about it. So if you are into live streaming and you want to bring in guests using OBS for free, make sure you check it out down below. But if you simply want to do something like Zoom calls, so basically being able to connect your camera and send a link to a guest where a guest will actually click to it, enter the password that you're going to create and actually be able to join you uh, you know, have this conferencing experience without paying any money and with unlimited time. So you're going to be able to chat for as long as you want. Then you have clicked on the right video. So I'm going to put the link uh, down below. Basically, the website is called the video that ninja. So it's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and actually go to video that ninja. OK, so this is the user interface of video ninja. When you get here, you have so many options. But for the purpose of this video, what we need, because we need to do some zoom like conferencing, we're going to go to create a room. OK. So let's go ahead and actually create the room. OK, and for the purpose of this video, again, we're going to name the room. We're going to call it testing. OK, and the password, you're going to create any password that you want. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to call this one test. OK, that's our password. So you have two options here. The guest can see the director, but not other guest videos. So you could actually check this one if you don't want other guests to see each other. You know, you want them to just see you, the director, or you could leave it unchecked if you want to kind of see each other's video. And then you have another option here, which is the director will be performing as well, which is very important because you are the director. So you're going to be performing. You're going to be in the scene. So we're going to check that one. OK, and for the preferred video codec, we can leave it to default or you can use H.264. Personally, I always use H.264. The last thing is going to be two options here. You can use to enter the room control center in the director's role. So this is very important because as a director, you're going to have more controls. You can mute some guests. You can access to some settings of your guests. So it's important to actually enter as a director. But if you want to enter just as a participant, again, I would not recommend that if you are hosting. So if you are hosting again, let's go with the rooms control as a director. Now we are here. This is what the interface is going to look like. The first thing you're going to see, you have multiple guests uh, icons here. So this is where all your guests are going to appear. You have this invite guest link in this tab. This is the link that you're going to send to your guests. So we're going to go ahead and actually copy the link and then you can go ahead and actually email it to your guest and once they receive it we're gonna go ahead and actually paste it they're gonna open it it's going to ask them to enter the password so we remember the password was test so they're gonna enter the password and then they're gonna be in now they have an option to join with a camera or share the screen we're gonna go ahead just join with the camera so let's go ahead and actually share the screen 
uh, sorry, join with the camera. And as you can see, you have multiple options here. You have the first one is to choose your video sources. You're gonna go ahead and choose your webcam. If you have a webcam connected to your computer, we're gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna choose one of my video sources, which is a capture card connected here. And I'm gonna choose my audio source, which is gonna be my USB microphone that I'm using right now to record this video. And the audio output destination always encourage your guests to have some headphones just to avoid some echoes, okay? Once they are ready, they are going to hit start. And this is what the guest is going to see. You can see they have multiple controls here. A way to transfer a file, they have an option to toggle the chat so they can send me some messages, uh, they have an option to mute or unmute the audio, they have an option to mute their microphone or to unmute, and they have an option to disable the camera or to enable the camera. All the things that we have in Zoom, basically you have it here. You can actually share your screen so you can see you have an option to actually share the screen or any tab or window that you want basically like in zoom and you have some settings here where you can go back and actually change some you know your video source and stuff everything can be actually accessed here this is what the guest is actually seeing now we're gonna go back to the control room and as you can see as a director you're going to see all your guests actually appear here so as a director to be able to actually send something to your guests for them to see you click here and click video source okay uh, you can see you have all the settings where you can choose a video source like the guest so i'm gonna choose my atem mini which is another video source that's connected to my system and i'm gonna choose a different microphone maybe let's go with ndi as you can see basically you can see me this is the director okay and this is the guest so as a director you can see both yourself and the guest now if you go to the guest side as you can see you have both the guest and uh yourself okay i mean again this is me capturing myself twice but you have an idea so as you can see it looks pretty nice in my itself so it's like zoom so you can be here and chat and do all the crazy stuff you want to share your screen you can go ahead and actually share your screen and i mean this is not gonna limit you it's 100 free and then let me go ahead to the director and actually try to share my screen let's say i want to share one of my screen here let's say screen three okay and as you can see i'm sharing the screen right now and if i go to the guest side you can see boom that's my screen all right so this is the guest and they are actually able to see the screen that actually is being shared from me i can actually click to stop sharing here okay boom and it goes back to me and as you can see boom the guest is actually able to see my video again you also have some settings here like you know room settings where you can change the room video quality but remember again you probably don't want to push it too hard you may actually uh, start eating up your internet connections as a director as you can see it looks too small here maybe you're not going to be able to run a show if you were running a show like you know what i do actually usually do in obs even if you are a director you want to be able to to see actually a bigger picture of the whole scene and the people that you have in the conference so what you're gonna do you can go ahead and actually copy the or capture a group scene okay instead of just you know seeing that director's kind of thing you could actually use it to see yourself in here so you can actually use it to kind of monitor the whole scene on a bigger screen and this is gonna be fantastic and the guest is going to see the same thing here and whenever you need to adjust something you can go ahead go back to the director's interface and actually tweak a few things here other than that guys this is actually giving you zoom and teams or any other conferencing software features for 100 free the last thing guys okay this is not perfect yet but you could still do it if you want to record each scene individually you could actually do it you could go here as a director 
and you could go to each scene any scene that you want you can toggle here more scene options or additional controls and you could click here you have two options to record local or record remote okay this is going to allow you to record locally into your computer this is it guys thank you so much for watching the video i do appreciate i hope this was helpful if you have some issues questions make sure you put them uh, in my comments section let me know if this is working for you and how you're using it i thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you hopefully on my next video take care